Let's go ahead and say it. Screw 2016. Twenty sixteen has been fraught with just tension and sadness and basically the loss of every childhood hero ever. On a really personal level, the first half of this year was just hellish. Um, and it contributed a lot to me not really fulfilling the goals that I wanted to this past year. I didn't read my initial Goodreads goal. I had to dial that back. I felt like I wasn't putting up any kind of content or engaging with you guys or watching other people's videos. In a lot of ways, this year was kind of a year of skating by for me. And I don't like that. <laughs> my mom says a lot of the times when she talks about me that I was the kind of kid who didn't just want an A, I wanted the highest A in the class. And she's not wrong still. Um, <laughs> the kind of kid who wants to like earn that participation trophy. And so I'm looking forward to 2017 and feeling more like myself. The way that it's starting, I'm really hoping that it's going to be looking up. Because again, screw 2016. So to start the year off right, I am reevaluating some of my resolutions and what I want to do as my goals for this upcoming year. So I have hit 330 videos on my channel, 750 subscribers, and an unimaginable number of good friends. Um, in that regard, my booktube experience is pretty fan-fucking-tastic. And I would like to build on that. Um, first things first, I want to get back into reading at the same rate that I was in the previous years. My Goodreads goal is 150 and I'm going to bust my butt to try to make that happen. Again, for reasons outside of my control, I spent multiple months this year not reading at all, uh, which certainly didn't help. But it took a long time for me to feel like I could read again, uh, at least that I could do so and really enjoy it. And I've had to really take time and practice DNFing books because it wasn't worth trudging through something that was 300 pages long when I knew that I could pick up a novella and breeze through it and love every second of it. That's something that I want to take in as a lesson into trying to achieve this 150 goal, is to really not waste time on things I'm not enjoying. Um, <laughs> along with that goal, I want to make sure that at least one book I read every month is in Own Voices Month. Own Voices refers to the kind of book that is written about the author's experience, at least tangentially. One that tries to convey a sense of lived experience. One of my big goals is to push myself outside of my reading patterns, and to do that I want to read at least one book each month that is not an SFF book. I'm a pretty hardcore SFF reader, and sometimes I can get a little bit too into the genre, if you know what I mean. I become somebody who's a little bit obsessed with all of the things going on behind the scenes. And I think it'll be good to get out of that headspace. So trying out things like horror and mystery, uh, YA and contemporary. I think reading at least one book outside of my comfort genres will be really good for me this upcoming year. I want to finally get to and stick to a schedule. So starting on the first of the year, I'm going to be uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And at least one of those videos every week is going to be a review. I want to focus on getting that substantive content back up. Sometimes I feel like I still just do a lot of hauls and a lot of Friday reads. And while those are fun and give you, I think, a really good sense of what I do, when I'm reading for fun. While they're fun and give you an insight into what I like to read and especially what I like to read for fun when I'm just enjoying myself. Um, I don't think that they're necessarily helpful when talking about an individual book or when knowing what I like and don't like and then being able to use that for your own purposes and figuring out what you will or won't like. I want to be more engaged along with the kind of withdrawal from reading and creating content, I haven't been overly engaged in the community as a whole, and I want 
to really focus on re-familiarizing myself with BookTube as a whole and with BookTube SFF in particular. I want to be watching people's videos and commenting and doing all of those good things, being back on Twitter and engaged. I'm going to be going to Helsinki in August for Worldcon, which is going to be my first real trip abroad and my first trip abroad on my own and as an adult. Um, <laughs> I'm really, really excited for it. And in preparation, I want to make sure that I read all of the short stories that are on the Hugo short stories list. Um, this is something that I'm not always very good at. Reading short stories, while in theory makes so much sense, is something that I often let go by the wayside. And I'm going to fix that this year. And using Helsinki as a marker, I want to reach 1,500 subscribers by the time I go to Helsinki in August. This is kind of ridiculously optimistic. Um, but the idea of growing my channel and reintegrating myself in the community, I think, go hand in hand. And I want to be able to know more people when I go to Worldcon. I want to be able to say that, yes, I know who I'm rooming with, but also I'm going to meet so-and-so for lunch, or I know that person A is going to be at this particular panel. Those are things that I want to be able to take with me and kind of not just own the SFF community on BookTube, but feel like I'm a part of it in the broader SFF community sense. So I'm saying so long to 2016 and saying, thank God you're here to 2017. Here's to a fresh start. You know the drill. Comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.